today is to my dear student i want to show you again how to do the counting of the seed so this is the seed counted so by one by one it's very difficult to count the seed suppose for any experiment after uh, harvesting we need to count 100 seed or 1000 seed weight so if it is rice so sometimes very tedious to count one by one because you have so maybe maybe so many replication, five replications, seven, ten replications. So every replication, you have to count the seed for hundred seed weight or thousand seed weight. So for that purpose, there is a machine, seed counter, electric seed counter. You can see. So there is a power cable already the uh, connected with the power. So this is the on off button. So before on off, we can give we can give some the seed here. So this is the inlet. Okay. Now there is the outlet, so one by one they will reach here. So when we uh, press the start button, this is the start button and off button. So you just start, so you can see, you can see how they are counting here. So the seed is moving. So one by one they will go to the, you can see there is the shaking pressure. So shaking pressure, so the seed can move and one by one they can reach to the outlet of the pot and here you can see the digital counter here so number you can see the counting so increasing the number and counting on by one so by this way we can count the seed but here better we should reduce the speed if the seed is smaller so when the number is reached 100 then automatically the machine will off so you can see the 101 showing 101 then machine is automatically off so very easy to control you no need to worry about 100 seed so when 100 seed is already uh, reached to the the, the the reservoir pot the machine will off so in another case we have to uh, reduce the i mean reduce the time then that means we can reduce the speed when the seed is smaller you can see very slowly now moving very slowly so in that case it's very accurate otherwise if the speed is very high then sometimes it's, it, the counting is not correct because they're moving very speedily so maybe several seeds falling at a, at a time so better reduce the speed so better 30 or 30 maximum 35 i'm read i'm just increasing a little bit 33 so you can see how the seed is moving from one by one and going to the and you can see the outlet this is the so the, you can see how seed is going okay so they're going and counting when the seed is falling this hole so the digital meter here counting so this is the way of very easy to count the seed and i have already mentioned when the number is 100 so automatically the machine will off so this is the seed counter so if you if you want to use other seed was better for rice because rice is uh, hairy and they have uh, the uh, the micro spine so for this they can move very easily Otherwise, on, and if you use other seed, it takes long time and sometimes very difficult. Okay, you can see how seed is going and automatically counting here. So until 100, they will continue to move. When 100 reach, the machine will automatically off. So this is the uh, good uh, facilities of that machine. That is 100. If you are not sure, then so the seed is about to finish. So I'm uh, giving more seeds to reach it 100. Okay, you can see. So there is a fl uh, like floating way. So moving from that is from the the periphery to the central, and again again going to the periphery to go to the hole for counting okay so the, you can see 
already 100 so you're showing 101 the last one maybe so the machine is already stopped so this is the the machine for seat counting so that is which making our life more easier because for every ex experiment at the output at the yield we have to count the 100 seed weight or 1000 seed weight so in that case this machine is helping us for the counting so after counting you can take the weight very easily so that's all about the seed counter so thank you everyone and hopefully see you with another machine or another uh, system that we can use in the seed technology related subject.